In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to photograph and create a stop motion video, which you can then post on Instagram. Roll that intro. What is up guys? Thank you for joining me here today at the Raw Factory. My name is Jacob and today I'm gonna to be showing you my process on how I create a simple stop motion for Instagram. For today's example, I'm gonna be photographing a poor shot. But first, let me show you guys the behind the scenes. For lighting, I have my Godox AD600 Pro in a 120 centimeter Godox umbrella softbox to the left. Camera on a slight angle pointing down towards the glass cut. I have a white bounce card on the right. Now this is to bounce light back into my shadows and also create a nice white shine on the glass, which you'll see later on. My camera settings are shutter speed, 1 200th of a second. Feel free to go higher than 1 200th of a second, but do not go lower. Because if you go lower, the liquid, once it's being poured, will not be in focus and sharp. My aperture is at f4.5 and my ISO at 100. To begin, I will set the focus mode. I want to set the focus point manually, and to do this, I will select the Flexi Zone single mode. I now place the focus point on the top of the glass as this will be closest to the liquid. Select your drive mode to high speed continuous. This will allow me to keep my finger on the camera button without taking it off, taking multiple photos one after the other. Now, it's important to keep in mind, guys, that I am using a strobe with a fast recycle time. So the fact that I'm gonna have my finger on that shutter speed, taking multiple photos really quick one after the other, allows me to do this because of the fast recycle time on the flash. So if your flash doesn't have a fast recycle time, there's a trick you can do where, it's not really a trick, it's just a workaround. You can just take one photo at a time. So just as soon as you take a photo, click, 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 one after the other really quickly until it just captures um, the whole shot. Now, before you get into the real poor shot, it's important to do multiple test shots prior to the real shot, as this will allow you to see what's working, what's not, how the light's hitting your subject, is the liquid in focus. Uh, so all these little bits and bobs that you kind of got to assess before the real shot. Okay, so after multiple test shots, I think we're ready for the poor shot. I have David helping me here, which is super handy. Uh, if you don't have anyone to help you or assist you while taking the poor shot, uh, I would suggest possibly investing in a wireless trigger, even a corded trigger. It's no real big deal, depending on your budget. Wireless is probably the best way to go. I would say it's a great investment. Also, possibly shooting tethered uh, to your laptop. Uh, that way you can bring your laptop closer to you such as I have for the example that I showed earlier when I was doing the test shot with just the water, I shot that myself. Uh, my laptop was next to me, it's on this uh, moving desk and one finger on the button, the other one pouring in the liquid. So back to photographing the pour shot. David positions his hand in frame and on my command, he starts to pour the milk into the glass whilst I keep my finger on the capture button. So now that I have my images, I'm gonna import them into Lightroom. I will make my adjustments to one of the images and once I'm happy with it, I will click on the next image beside it and hit the command A to select all images. Then right click on the image, go to develop settings and select paste settings from previous. This will now allow me to apply the settings on this one image to all the images. How easy is that? Once that's done and you're happy with how they're all looking, it's time to export the photos. File, export. Select where you want the photos to be exported. Hit JPEG, color space sRGB. I usually set my quality to 100, but for this tutorial, 60 would just be fine. Resolution, 300. And now hit the export button. Once that is complete, let's put this stop motion video together. Open up Photoshop and import your first photo. Now drag the remaining images into Photoshop. Turn off all layers except for the first image. Go to the Windows tab and select Timeline. Select Create Animation. Now with the first layer turned on, I want you to click this plus icon. Then turn off the layer and turn on the layer above. And again, click the plus icon. Each time you turn on a new layer, you must click the plus icon. Let's fast forward this process. Now that's complete, I'm gonna set how fast I want the photos to transition from one another. To do this, select all thumbnails. Next, click on the arrow on one of the thumbnails and select the seconds you would like. I'm going to choose half a second. 
Now, if I deselect by clicking Command D and click the preview button, I should get a rough idea of how my stop motion will play out with the timing I've set. Okay, so I'm happy with how this stop motion is looking. I'm gonna select the video to be a continuous video that loops over. I'm gonna convert this to a video timeline and then click the arrow icon, which allows me to render it out. Rename the file to whatever you like. Set your destination folder. My image size is 1080 by 1350. I will keep it at 30 FPS. And now click the export button. Once that exports, it's time to preview the final video. Drum roll please. Oh, and by the way, I re-exported the video a little bit quicker though this time. So I just upped the seconds, so I think it was like 0.2 or something like that. But uh, yeah, just letting you guys know. Where were we? Oh yeah, drum roll please. Hey, that's not bad. I'm liking it. What do you guys think? Also, because I love you guys so much, I even exported you out a version where I manually had to click the camera one button at a time, click, 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 click of the poor shot. And I then exported it out for you guys to see what that looks like. Let's check it out. Less frames, but it still works, right? Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you got something from this video. I hope it helped. If it didn't, hit the dislike button. If it did, well, hit the thumbs up. Please comment anything uh, that I might be able to help you with. Otherwise, I will see you next Sunday. Stay safe, guys. Catch you.